This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. Damn. They've still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. It's freezing in here. Something's in the way. What? Claire Brown went missing on a snowmobile trip? Yeah. I thought you were still here when it happened. I don't remember. Tyler, you coming? Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Something's in the way. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jay? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. Here we go again. God, not here too. 
I'm not ready. Me neither. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Rose never lets me back here. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. left the computer on. Okay, let's go in. Yep, it's locked. Ugh, they've let this place get gross. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> I'm not that hungry. How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh. I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all going to be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well... Maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? It's the first time I've wow. been in here since. That night, Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here, um, I 
privacy. Ah, damn it. Oh, sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Poster. I kept staring at it that night. I was picturing myself in the forest, hunting for goblin treasure. Just wanted to be anywhere but here. Yeah. She won't notice if we borrow this, right? As long as we put it back right where we found it, we're good. She won't notice if we borrow this, right? As long as we put it back right where we found it, we're good. We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but you never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. Balto came through. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. You remember Dan and Shelby? 
I think so. The high schoolers who are always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot? Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? I should take her out for a birthday drink. Bingo. Anything juicy? Just Denise's work emails. Oh, Sam. What about him? He got arrested for public intoxication last week, and that was not his first offense. He's on a bit of a downward spiral. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children are the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah, 
Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her, but it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? <sighs> Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just... Move on. Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I... I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm gonna kill you! No, please. didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're gonna tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> 